one of these days I'm gonna get all of these right. It's gonna be a great day. Hello everybody, my name is Kelsey and we're about to get very, very nerdy with everything in my own TBR. Yikes. been seeing this video around on booktube for like at least the last couple of weeks since it's the beginning of the new year a lot of people are doing their own tbrs it's a video that like i've thought about doing but like i never actually decided to do until like today so we're gonna go through everything that i have in this room that i haven't read we have a lot to get through um i'll put a counter down in one of the corners just to see how odd I am, but I'm guessing I'm somewhere around 300. That's what I'm going to say. I'd love to be slightly under 300. I'd love to be less than that, but I'm going to say 300 just because like looking at this room and like knowing what I haven't read, there's a lot here. I'm also going to be doing this video in sections. Everything is going to be like by genre because that's how I categorize my books on my shelves is by genre. But let's get going because this is going to be a video. So the first section we will do is middle grade. We will start off with Peter and the Shadow Thieves, Peter and the Secret of Rundoon, Peter and the Sword of Mercy, and Bridge to Neverland by Dave Barry and Ridley Pearson. The third in the School for Good and Evil series, The Last Ever After by Soman Chinani. Time Sight by Lynn Jonnell. The Gallery by Laura Marks Fitzgerald. The Miraculous by Jess Redman. Willa of the Wood by Robert Betty. Sabotaged, Torn, Caught, Risked, Revealed, and Redeemed by Margaret Patterson Haddix. James and the Giant Peach by Royal Dahl. Prince Caspian, The Voyage of the Dawn Treader, The Silver Chair, and The Last Battle by C.S. Lewis. Now moving on to my fantasy books. The first and that is Soul of Stars by Ashley Poston, the second in the Heart of Iron series. The Beholder by Anna Bright. A Darker Shade of Magic, A Gathering of Shadows, and A Conjuring of Light by V.E. Schwab. The Everlasting Rose by Danielle Clayton. Ashante by Gita Trillis. The Rest of Us Just Live Here by Patrick Ness. The Antidote by Shelley Sackier. Because You Love to Hate Me by 13 different YouTubers and authors. The Glass Spare by Lauren DeStefano. Ace of Shades by Amanda Foodie. Girls of Paper and Fire by Natasha Nian. Crown of Feathers by Nikki Pau Preto. Four Dead Queens by Astrid Schultz. Spin the Dawn by Elizabeth Lim. Sorcery of Thorns by Margaret Rogerson. We Hunt the Flame by Hafsa Fazil. Wicked Saints by Emily A. Duncan. Cryer's War by Nina Varela. Winterwood by Shay Earnshaw. The Guinevere Deception by Kirsten White. Confessions of an Ugly Stepsister, After Alice. Son of a Witch, A Lion Among Men, and Out of Oz by Gregory Maguire. The Fellowship of the Ring, The Two Towers, The Return of the King, and The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien. Uprooted by Naomi Novak. Dawn of the Dreadfuls, a Pride and Prejudice and Zombie Novel by Stephen Hokensmith. The Wrath and the Dawn by Renee Adier. The First Call from Heaven by Mitch Album. While Beauty Slept by Elizabeth Blackwell. Blood Rose Rebellion by Rosalind Eves. The Good Demon by Jimmy Cajoles. Ink by Alice Broadway. Of Fire and Stars by Audrey Colthurst. The Queen of the Tearling by Erica Johansson. The Lice Reader by Bernona Berry. Everless by Sarah Holland. Worlds of Ink and Shadow by Lena Coakley. Warrior of the Wind by Tricia Levenzeller. Confessions of a Jane Austen Addict and Rude Awakenings of a Jane Austen Addict by Lori Vera Riggler. The Crowns Game by Evelyn Skye. The Cold and Her Bones by Peter Nett Van Arsdale. And now we're moving on to my sci-fi section. Brightly Burning by Alexa Dawn. Aurora Rising by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. I Hope You Get This Message by Farah Naz Rashi. The Similars by Rebecca Hanover. Invictus by Ryan Groudon. The XY by Virginia Bergen. Every Heart a Doorway and Beneath the Sugar Sky by Seanan McGuire. Learning to Swear in America by Katie Kennedy. We All Looked Up by Tommy Wallach. Once and Future by Amy Rose Capetta and Corey McCarthy. The Kingdom by Jess Rothenberg. Cinder, Scarlet, and Cress by Marissa Meyer. 
Eve of Man by Giovanna and Tom Fletcher. The Darkest Legacy by Alexandra Bracken. The Great Shear by Kim Lidget. And Dry by Neil and Jared Schusterman. All right, and now moving on to my historical fiction section. Death Comes to Pemberley by P.D. James. The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. The Angel's Game and The Shadow of the Wind by Carlos Ruiz Stefan. Mr. and Mrs. Fitzwilliam Darcy by Sharon Lathan. The Lost Memories of Jane Austen by Shiri James. Longborn by Joe Baker. Lost in Austen by Emma Campbell Webster. A Poisoned Season by Tasha Alexander. Juliet by Anne Frontier. The Fortune Hunter by Daisy Goodwin. A Mad and Wicked Folly by Sharon Biggs Waller. Eve by William Paul Young. Pilot's Wife by Antoinette May. Ghost at a Watchman by Harper Lee. The Little Parish Bookshop by Nina George. Paper Hearts by Meg Wibbit. No Dark Place by Joan Wolfe. Outlander. Dragonfly in Amber. Voyager. Drums of Autumn. The Fiery Cross. A Breath of Snow and Ashes and Echo in Bone, and written in My Own Heart's Blood by Diana Gabaldon. The Royal Nanny by Karen Harper. The Kitchen House by Kathleen Grissom. The Sister Queens by Sophie Perrinot. The Lady Elizabeth by Alison Weir. Three Sisters, Three Queens. The Other Boleyn Girl. The Boleyn Inheritance. The Taming of the Queen. The Virgin's Lover. The Other Queen, and The Last Tutor by Philippa Gregory. Lovely War by Julie Berry. The Familiars by Stacey Halls. The Downstairs Girl by Stacey Lee. Romanoff by Nadine Brands. An Assassin's Guide to Love and Treason by Virginia Boker. The 48 by Donna Hose. And now we're moving on to contemporary, which is honestly mostly contemporary romance. American Orals by Catherine McGee. Royals, or more commonly known as Prince Charming by Rachel Hawkins. Romancing the Throne by Nadine Joel Courtney. From Twinkle with Love, There's Something About Sweetie. And Of Curses and Kisses by Sandia Menon. I Believe in a Thing Called Love by Maureen Gu. The Missing Manuscripts of Jane Austen by Sari James. The Jane Austen Marriage Manual by Kim Izzo. Jane of Austen by Hilary Manton Lodge. Josh and Hazel's Guide to Not Dating by Christina Lauren. Love at First Like by Hannah Ornstein. The Bride Test by Helen Huang. The Wedding Date by Jasmine Guillory. Always Never Yours by Emily Wipperly and Austin Sigmund Broca. Alex Approximately by Jen Bennett. Attachments and Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. Vision and White, Bed of Roses, Savor the Moment, Happily Ever After, Stars of Fortune, Bay of Sights, and Islands of Glass by Nora Roberts. I Love You by Erin Loin. Meet Cute by Various Authors. 4321 by Courtney Stevens. Every Moment After by Joseph Maldover. The Black Coats by Colleen Oakes. Where I End and You Begin by Preston Norton. Leaving Time by Jody Pico. Dear Evan Hansen by Val Emmerich, Stephen Levinson, Ben J. Pasek, and Justin Paul. I Was Here by Gail Foreman. The Revenge by Hannah Jane. Jane Steele by Lindsay Fay. Stolen by Lucy Christopher. Forever by Judy Bloom. Literally by Lucy Keating. Pride by E.B. Zavoy. Frankly in Love by David Yoon. Love a la Mode by Stephanie Kate Strom. Stay Sweet by Siobhan Vivian. Save the Date by Morgan Matson. And The Love Interest by Kale Dietrich. And now we're going to move on to the thriller mystery section of the library. The Secret Keeper by Kate Morton. My Name is Lucy Barton by Elizabeth Strout. The Celloist of Sarah Jetto by Stephen Galloway. The Language of Flowers by Vanessa Diffenbaugh. You Owe Me a Murder by Eileen Cook. Lady Jane Disappears by Joanna Davidson Politano. The Phantom of Pemberley by Regina Jeffers. Somebody I Used to Know by David Bell. Defending Jacob by William Landy. The Au Pair by Emma Rouse. All the Missing Girls by Megan Miranda. The Cuckoo's Calling, The Silkworm, Carrier of Evil, and Lethal White by Robert Galbraith, a.k.a. J.K. Rowling. The Mysterious Death of Miss Jane Austen by Lindsay Ashford. King and Joker by Peter Dickinson. And Murder on the Orient Express by Agatha Christie. 
Uh, now we're going to move on to my poetry collection, which is relatively small. The Premier Book of Major Poets by Anita Dorr. Ballistics by Billy Collins. When the World Didn't End, Poems by Carolyn Kaufman. Next is my graphic novel section, which honestly has only two things in it, and that is Volume 1 and Volume 2 of Heartstoppers by Alice Oseman. And now we're moving right on to classics. Nancy Drew and The Message of the Hollow Oak, The Mystery of the Ivory Charm, The Hidden Staircase, The Hidden Window Mystery, The Password to Larkspur Lane, The Clue of the Tapping Heels, the Haunted Showboat, The Secret of the Wooden Lady, The Secret and the Old Attic, The Mystery of the Fire Dragon, and The Secret of the Golden Pavilion, all by Carolyn Keene. The Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde. The Old Curiosity Shop by Charles Dickens. Sanditon and the Watsons, The Unfinished Work by Jane Austen. Sanditon, a finished copy by Jane Austen and Juliet Shapiro. Little Women by Louise May Alcott. Far From the Madden Crowd by Thomas Hardy. Summer by Edith Wharton. Anne of Green Gables by L.M. Montgomery. Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. The Haunting of Hill House by Shirley Jackson. Sleepy Hollow and Other Short Stories by Washington Irving. The Importance of Being Earnest in Other Plays by Oscar Wilde. And Timequake by Kurt Vonnegut. And last but certainly not least, we're going to move on to the nonfiction section. The Five Love Languages by Gary Chapman. How to Get Shit Done by Erin Falconer. Good Morning, Good Night by Lynn Manuel Miranda. For Women Only by Shanti Feldham. Feel the Fear and Do It Anyway by Susan Jeffers. Awaken by Priscilla Shire. You're Already Amazing by Holly Girth. When God Winks at You by Squire Rushnell. Fresh Brood Life by Nicole Johnson. Unafraid by Adam Hamilton. Bygone Badass Broads by Mackenzie Lee. The Book of Gutsy Women by Hilary Rodham Clinton and Chelsea Clinton. Greek Legends and Stories by M. B. Seton Williams. The Plantagenets, The Kings That Made Britain by Derek Wilson. Lady Almina and the Real Down Abbey by the Countess of Carnarvon. Love and Louis XV by Antonia Fraser. London's Strangest Stories Extraordinary But True by Ian Sprague. The Rival Queens by Nancy Goldstone. Among the Janites by Deborah Yafe. A Little Bit Wicked by Christian Chenoweth. Rain on a Fire by Savannah Cahalan. Love Lucy by Lucille Ball. Ex Libris by Anne Fediman. The Real Jane Austen by Paula Byrne. Jane Austen's England by Maggie Lane. And lastly, Jane Austen, Her Life and Letters, A Family Record by William Austen Lee and Richard Arthur Austen Lee. So, that was a lot of books. Um, I'm actually okay with the number because I thought it was going to be quite a lot more. So, I will take that number. I do like having a good amount of books to choose from just because I'm such like a mood reader and I want to change my mind all the time. Um, so, having all these books is fun to just... Peruse. Thank you guys so much for sitting through this, I'm sure, very, very long video of everything that I have not read that I own. Let me know down below if you've heard any of these books, if you love any of these books, what your number is that you haven't read, whether that's um, your physically owned TBR or your Goodreads TBR. I would be adding like 150 books on top of the number that we counted here if I included my Goodreads TBR as well. But yeah, let me know all of that fun stuff down below. And as always, if you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below if you want to be part of this awesome growing family. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!